Stamper. Welcome to French's video. Well, today I got something exciting to show you. Again, this is not um, any cards we're going to make. I'm going to show you the new lovely cutter that it's finally available November 1st to all customer for the low price of $29.95. And I'm going to show you what is so nice about this cutter that we've been waiting for so long. First, the surface, it's much bigger. We go all the way to six and a half inch, about six and a quarter, I should say, inch on the top. And here, it's another plus one inch that we got. All the lines are at a quarter inch, so it's not just a few all the way through. It's all of them, it's a quarter inch, so you, we get a nice grid on this. The harm that pull open, it's very tight. It don't open easy and it is built that way. So when you open your arm, it don't, uh, like if you're like me, sometimes cutting on your, you know, on your legs, whatever, put this on your legs. Well, it won't fall down. When you open it up, make sure you hear the click. You see? Then you know it's open. And you want to make sure this, it's lined up with this. So then you know it's all the way open. Now see, it's kind of flimsy. Well, it's because you get a leg in the back that you want to open so then it's solid. So you just click this in place. So when you put it on your table, it stays very good. So nothing will move. It is built that you can keep your blade. This is your cutting blade and this is your score blade. So both will stay because this is over um, 14, about 12, 13 and then you get the extra uh, space there. So you can cut easy a 12 by 12 paper and you see you still have place. So it's about 13 that where you can cut. Let me move this. And on the top, it go till about six and a quarter. And then with your arm, it go all the way to about uh, 14 and a half. So it is built very well. Before we add to, um, for a regular card, let me grab a regular card stock here. We had to um, open the leg just for to cut the card stock in half. This one, I'm going to put it right at five and a half. Voila, I got my two half uh, piece of cardstock that I can make two cards with it. Now let's talk about the blades and, <clears throat> excuse me, the blades and the score. Like I said, both of them can be stored on top here so you don't have to move them. Because you see, this is stopped there, your paper stopped there, and your blade can store there. And this is the same thing. Your paper stopped there, that's your stopper, and your blade can go all the way there. So you don't have to take them off. When you need to take them off, it's only possible at one side. When you look at your cutter facing you, the blade, it's only changeable on the right side, right here at the end. I don't know if you can see. It get kind of a little groove open. You would bring your blade there and pop this out. See how easy it is? That was your score. And you will have to take your score out to change your blade if you keep both of them there. That is okay. Just bring it here. Just make sure it's in the groove and pop it out. That's how simple it is. Let's say that you're a lefty and you would like your blade at this end. Then you're going to put your score first and put your score, push your score there. So again, let me reposition this. You have to make sure it's in the groove there. Just click it in, push it in. The same thing with this. So it's only at one place that you can do it. Make sure it's all the way in the groove. Am I in the groove there? I'm all sideways here. Let me just make sure I'm in the groove. Here we go. Now, that's how you switch your blade or if you want to move them. Another thing you get, you get this here. This little button on the side. 
it's too long right now my arm it's locked let's see that you want to carry that someplace instead of having this flop open then you lock it even when it's locked you still can cut you can slide it but for me i think it's easier you know to lift it up so when you want to lift it up make sure it's unlocked when you pull toward the machine it unlocked and then it lift up one thing i'm going to warn you because i had a tough time with this part the old cutter i'm going to bring it out and the old cutter opened this way you see it flop against the ta the plate this one opened the other way so it took me quite a bit of a try I, I tend to go this way constantly but you get that nice uh, lift up edge here so that's a reminder to push it up so remember it go up on not facing your board but the other way this one and don't go this way so that's pretty much the top now let's flip it under you see the nice rubber again this is so it won't slide on your table now and this here you get a little um, ID corner or whatever you want to call it just pop this open et voila you can keep extra blades down here extra score pad you can put your bone folder um, I was trying to see if it's a way you can fit your scissors and I cannot fit them so no your scissors won't fit there so um, we were talking about that with my team and the scissors won't fit there but you can um, maybe even keep it some tiny chocolate back there whatever you want but this uh, this fit perfectly you can keep extra blade whatever that you need to keep the, there and then it's just lock in place so again i'm gonna show you a, one more thing this here after usage and usage it's gonna take a long time you can switch it's your rubber where your blade go if you look right here you get kind of a little half moon circle if you push that voila this is kind of a rubber, very heavy, uh, hard rubber. You just switch it and put it again. After a while, and then make sure it's pushed very secure. After a while, those rubber can get kind of rough on the uh, side and it make your paper look kind of ragged. So that's what you would need to switch. And the place to switch that, it's right there. Push it up and then, whoops you just flip it upside down so you get two of two sides that make you know with one so it that's going to take a long long time before you need to replace it and again when i'm ready to travel i would lock this so then this wouldn't open so that is the new cutter it's cut very lovely I'm going to show you how it's score. Let's, like I said, I don't have to move the score away. Let's say I want to score this at 3, 6. Voila. I got my lovely score. And then I can fold this and add a lovely card here. See how easy it is? and then for the cutting it's the same thing it stayed there the reason why you get plenty of space you get that extra here your blade can stay there and over here your blade stay there this you get the uh, edge there it's raised up so your paper will not move when you want to cut to make sure your paper is straight you make sure it's all push against this so then you know you're very straight let's say i want to cut this at six voila so you see how straight it is well my friend this is the new cutter hope you're gonna enjoy it as much as i do and if you would like to purchase one you can visit my blog at frenchystamps.com and just click on the little uh, shop 24 7 and the item number it is 126889 and it is on page 180 of the catalog for 
Again, my blog is FrenchyStamps.com. Thank you so much and have a great day.